Humla is one of the remotest districts in Nepal. From Simikot, the district headquarter, a walk of six days to the north takes you to a hidden valley, Limi Valley. Another two days of walk will bring you face to face with a stunning Tibetan plateau. Gyaungkola is the heart of this landscape. It is the land of the wild ass, resembling domestic mules in appearance, but bigger and more robust, they congregate in herds. The Trans Himalayan grasslands of Upper Humla maintain the largest population of wild ass in Nepal. It is the playground of marmots. The innocent display of young Himalayan marmots is a delight to the observer. The plateau pika fascinates by its swiftness, and the pace of woolly hair is almost impossible to catch up with. A small population of the rare Tibetan gazelle, an argali, exists in Chakpolung at 4,950 meters. The presence of these prey species, combined with a moderate human hunting pressure, has provided enough ground for the grey wolves to roam these valleys. Critically endangered in Nepal, the grey wolf can be observed here. The red fox and the Tibetan fox are other canites coexisting here with the grey wolves. The wild yak has been suspected to be regionally extinct from Nepal. They still roam in the remote locations of Upper Humla, but human hunting pressure has led them to be extremely shy. The blue sheep, however, are less wary of humans. If you are lucky, you get a close-up view of their daily activities. This leaves the iconic snow leopards with plenty of its primary prey to devour here, but these majestic animals keep themselves well hidden from the observer. The local economy of the region rests in livestock herding. The herders shift their herds from one pasture to another seasonally. Upper Humla is diverse in bird life. The black-necked crane, a vagrant species for Nepal, can be observed in Ning Valley during the summer month. Bearded vultures, Himalayan griffins, and golden eagle delight with spectacular flight acrobatics. Brown-headed gulls and ruddy shelducks enjoy the peacefulness in the crystal clear waters of this remote highlands. With the monsoon rains, the landscape becomes beautifully adorned by many species of wildflowers. Various species of Primula, Potentiala, Saxifraga and many others will enchant your soul with their beauty. Upper Humla is a place very less traveled. Mount Kailash and Lake Mansarova in the Tibetan Autonomous Region can be observed from Chakpolung. This is a place of charming lakes and rolling flats. Go explore the wilderness of Upper Humla. You will certainly be love-struck by the immense treasures that lay hidden in the majestic landscapes of Upper Humla. May it be conserved for many generations to come.